Max, thank you for taking time with us uh, off the block blog and congratulations on a thrilling comeback uh, five set uh, victory. What uh, are your initial impressions of the match? Uh, USC is a really good team. They're scrappy. They uh, they look a lot more dangerous than they do on film, which is you know always something different. But they're they're a really good team. I think they'll go far this year. Uh, well, let's start, uh, go into the nitty gritty of the uh, match. I really haven't looked at the statistics, but I'm just going off of uh, what I saw. Um, SC uh, took the first set um, mostly based off of uh, their um, dominance uh, at the service uh, line, uh, especially with uh, Banesh. Can you uh, tell us uh, uh, about how it was difficult it was for you to get out of that rotation and uh, get them off the service line? Yeah, they have they have some really good servers and uh, they have some late bite on there and our server our, our passers are making some good reads, uh, but just some things didn't work out and they're they're a really good serving team. How hard was it to prepare a play against Grasso? You really only have the game film against uh, 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 Sanford to go off of. Um, and can you uh, comment on uh, his performance today? Oh, he's a really good player. I mean, he he had a couple bombs from the service line, and you know he he attacks hard, swings high, and I don't think it's super hard to prepare against him. He's just a really solid player. Uh, you guys uh, were down two to one after uh, three sets. Uh, what was the message from? Uh, Coach uh, uh, from Coach Dunphy and uh, um, Coach was uh, uh, sorry. Um, they they just said play hard, keep doing the right thing. I mean, you, you've seen from this year we like playing five sets. Uh, the longer the <laughs> match goes, the the more we feel comfortable in the match, and you just gotta play away volleyball. And your role on the team is um, the uh, serving substitute, and you come in around the twenty twenty first point uh, of the match. Um, but in the fifth set, you were brought in quite early. Were you surprised by that? Uh, a little bit, but you always got to be ready. You know, Marv throws you in and expects you to do the best, so you just see what happens. Um, the team really um, had a two-headed attack with uh, with Dave and... Uh, uh, and uh, so Wexter? Wexter, thank you, sorry. Um, can you comment on their performances to, uh, today? That Dave always plays really well, and... Uh, he likes. He gets fired up. He fires us up, and Wex is always really consistent, really solid player. And it's, it's great to have those two on the pin, especially when you know when we get in trouble. We know we can throw it to them, and they help us out a lot. Uh, let's go back into uh, your um, most re recently uh, completed uh, road trip. You went back uh, to the Midwest and played uh, Oil, and uh, you played uh, Lewis. Uh, can you tell us about your experience on that trip? Uh, again, I mean, they're re they're two really good teams, and Oil was a tough one, and. Uh, of course, losing to Lewis was tough, but it's it's good to get those teams under your belt, those two games, and it's something to build off of. And I think uh, traveling over there for a team it helped us bond a little bit, and we figured out some more stuff that we need to do. I mean, we haven't, I think, we haven't played our best volleyball, but we're starting to figure things out, and uh, it's good good for us. How how much fun was it to go back to the Midwest, where quite a few of your uh, teammates are from? Yeah, they were, they were really excited about it. I mean, it was a little chilly for me, but uh, they were super happy to be back and have a bunch of friends and family around. And and you also have an assistant coach that is from that area as well, right? Yeah, Sean Rooney. Um, and, and let's go back to the uh, Sanford match that you, um, in between uh, this match and the uh, tri uh, road trip, uh, you guys lost in four, but it was a very um, heavily contested match. Um, what's your uh, your impression of uh, Stanford uh, now that they do not have the uh, services of uh, James Shaw? I mean, they're a good team. I mean, I, Shaw was a really great player, and they've recovered well from that, not having him. Uh, they're, they're really good, really scrappy defensively, really good offensively. And uh, I and think in that uh, third set, we hit 400. They hit something like 0.69. And uh, it just shows how strong we can be as a team when we play really well. And, I mean, all the credit to them, they're a really good team. And so you're a senior now, and you've had the uh, opportunity to play with uh, one of the best uh, setters in uh, um, Pepperdine history, uh, Matt West. Uh, last year, you got to play with uh, Matt Tarantino. Now you're a senior with, uh, with Mitchell and uh, with uh, Stewart. Uh, can you uh, just comment on your uh, for your experience at uh, in Malibu and also what it means to be a senior uh, to uh, lead uh, this team? Yeah, I mean, speaking speaking of West, he's he's one of the best teammates I've had. He's one of the nicest guys. You'll meet one of the best volleyball players as well, and uh, he's doing well overseas. And again, wish him the best. Uh, Tino, again, really solid player, good teammate, and it was 
you know, having having guys like Kyle Garen, Sue, Ryan Pluger, uh, Josh Taylor, all these great players to come in, and they're not they're not just like teammates; they're friends too. They help you out, and being a senior with those guys, uh, I mean, there's nothing to lose. It's your last year, you just come out with fire and see what happens. And next week you go to uh, Long Beach State. Uh, everybody knows about their um, three-headed uh, sophomore uh, monster, Tuanigo, Ensing, and uh, uh, DeFalco. Um, what do you guys have to do to uh, prevail in the uh, match uh, at Long Beach next week? Uh, I think we got to beat them on the service even side out. I mean, they're a really good team, and they they don't lose any power when they switch the lineup around. And you see who's come in, and uh, they throw a cannon every once in a while. It just makes up the lineup, and I think you just got to knock down the system and hope for the best because they're a really good offensive team. Well, thank you for taking time with us. Yeah, of course. Block, block, and uh, good luck uh, the rest of the season. Thank you.